my name is Natalie and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a little craft you can hopefully do at home. So today I'm going to be talking about how to make a time capsule. So I'm going to be talking about how to make an indoor time capsule. So this is not going to be one that you would bury in your backyard. Um, if you would really like to do a time capsule that you would bury somewhere like your backyard, um, make sure you and a trusted adult do the research to make sure that you find a container that would be um, okay to put in the earth, right? <laughs> so I have a little cardboard box here. If I would bury that in my backyard, it's not going to hold up and all my goodies I put in there aren't going to look very nice if I would leave it in there in the earth for like five years or however long. So if you want to do an outdoor time capsule, please, please, please do the research to make sure that it's going to hold up and you're not just putting things in the earth for them to just get gross, okay? So we're going to be talking about indoor time capsules. So I have picked out a little box here. It's about the size of a shoe box. Um, you, I wouldn't recommend too, too big of a box because you want to be able to hide your time capsule somewhere, right? You want it out of sight and out of mind. So once you've got a box picked out, um, you might want to decorate it. So I just kind of wrapped mine in some paper so you could wrap yours if you wanted to, or you could paint it, you could color it, you could put stickers on it, however you want to decorate it. Um, so once you've got your box and it looks the way you want it to, um, we need to come up with a date and where we could put it. So somewhere I would probably put my time capsule would be like in the back of my closet because I clean it out every year. Eventually I'm going to come across my time capsule. Um, but you could put yours somewhere like underneath your bed, like I said in your closet. You could hide it in your attic, maybe in your basement. If you have a garage you could put it there. Um, but like I said you want to put it somewhere in your house that's going to be safe from the elements. <laughs> So once you've got your location where you're going to hide your time capsule in your home, um, you need to come up with a date. So when do you want to open your time capsule? So I went ahead and I just decided a year from now. So I went ahead and wrote on my time capsule, do not open until 9-9 of 2021. Um, so I just did a year, but you can do whatever time frame works for you. So maybe that's five years, maybe that's two years, maybe you just want to do a year two, or maybe just a few months, whatever you're feeling. Um, I wouldn't recommend anything too long for in your house because you're probably going to come across it before, you know, 20 years. You're probably going to clean out your closet, with hopefully, within 20 years. So I wouldn't do anything too crazy long, but whatever works best for you. So once you've decorated it, um, you might want to write on there when you want to open it so you don't forget what it is. And so, like, if you do happen to come across it early, you don't want to open it early, right? So maybe give yourself a date on there so you know to either, oh, wow, it's past time. We were supposed to open this a few months ago or a couple years ago or, you know, oh, it's not quite time yet, right? So now you've got your box, your time capsule ready to go. Um, you need to put some stuff in there, right? So you might want to put things in there that kind of remind you of who you are right now. So I've got some suggestions in case you need them. Um, so you might want to put in there like a toy, something that you're into right now. Um, you could put an assignment from school, so like a homework assignment you've already done. Um, you could put that in there so you can look back and be like, oh, this is what I was learning or this is what I was studying or a project you've been working on. So I've actually got a little um, book here from a project I've been working on. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my time capsule so a year from now I will remember that I was working on this project. Um, you can always put some art or crafts in there that you've been working on. So if you like to draw or maybe you've done a coloring sheet and you wanna put that in there so you can see um, what you were working on or what you liked at the time. So I've got my little alien craft here that we did a couple weeks ago. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put him in there so I remember like, oh yeah, last year we were working on alien crafts. <laughs> um, another suggestion is like a card or a letter you've received from someone. So maybe if you got a birthday card this year from someone or just anything like that, you could put that in here. Um, you might wanna put some photos, right? So what do you look like right now? You might wanna put that in here. So Mr. Jason donated some photos of some of his classes and his programs and some of the staff here. Um, all of us in the children's department are working on this little time capsule, so we're going to open it a year from now together. Um, 
Some other suggestions might be clothes. So um, my box is a little small, but I might be able to fit like a shirt or a scarf in there, right? So I could see like what kind of style I was into at the time. Um, if you guys like to bullet journal, that's something you could put in there. That would give you a really good idea of what your day was like today, right? So you could bullet journal about the weather, what you ate today for lunch, um, things like that. So that would be a really good idea if you wanted to be super descriptive, right? Um, you could always just make a list of your favorite things. So you could have a list and you could be like, oh, my favorite color is my favorite character is my favorite video game you know whatever you want to list is your favorites um but i kind of suggest um, writing a letter or a note to yourself in the future so i have a little idea here if you need a prompt so i just said dear natalie it is september 9th 2020 it's warm and sunny today I am 23 years old and I work at the Jackson County Public Library, so you can, you know, in your letter say how old you are, what grade you're in, um, you can talk about what you're studying right now in school, what your favorite subject is, if you really like math or if you really like science. Um, you can list your favorite color. I went on to say my favorite color is green and right now my favorite TV show is Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, you might want to write about how you're feeling. So you could say today I'm happy about this or if you're not happy, how are you feeling? Are you bored? Are you sad? You could write about that. Um, you can mention your best friends or your, who you're friends with right now. Um, some of your favorite foods. Um, if you're doing any sports or extracurricular activities, are you in a club? You know, write about how you are right now. And once you've finished your letter, or your note to yourself. Um, you can put that in there too. Whatever you guys want to put in there is fine. Um, you know, just don't put things in there that aren't going to hold up. Don't put food. You know, maybe food's not a good idea. Um, or critters. Don't put any little bugs or anything in there. Um, but whatever you put in there has to stay in there. So make sure you don't put anything that you'd be sad about, you know, missing for a while. So put all your goodies in there. And when you're completely done and you're sure about them, you're going to close up your time capsule and you're going to seal it. So you might want to put some tape on there. So if you happen to come across it before your opening date, um, you're not tempted to peek or anything. So maybe tape up your box and then you're going to put it away and you won't look at it until your due date or your opening date or whatever date you've put on there, right? So you'll put it wherever and you'll wait a while. And hopefully, whatever time frame you gave yourself, you'll have fun opening it and learning about the person that you were and, you know, kind of reflecting on who you are now, right? Well, I hope this wasn't too complicated, and I hope everybody has fun with this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!